Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a new viewer, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a free training on how you can get up to $100,000 in business credit lines and loans, even if you have bad credit or are a startup. So there are tons of different funding options out there if you are still working on your personal credit or if you're in the process of building your personal credit, there are still ways to get funding and to be able to purchase things that you need for your business, like equipment, cars, trucks, vans, office supplies, computers, and so much more. So if you wanna see more content like this, make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell icon to receive notifications on when I release videos. Make sure that you check all notifications so that you can see every video that is uploaded. Also, at any point in time in this training, you decide you wanna go ahead and get help with getting your business credit built and also receiving all types of business financing. We do help with getting you approved. We actually make sure that you have everything you need to get approved. We help you get loans. We help you get lines of credit. We help you get vehicle financing, equipment financing, revenue financing, real estate financing, SBA loans, and so much more. The link will be down below in the description box. We are only accepting two more clients at the time of this video. The doors are going to actually close on May 3rd because we are trying to make sure that we help all of our clients as much as possible. We give everybody the most attention so that they get the best results. Not a lot of people are doing this. So if you really want help on getting as much funding as possible, click the link down in the description box below. Again, the doors closed May 3rd. At the time of this video, if the doors are already closed, you can still get on the waiting list and we will reopen again sometime this year. Also, I will be showing you proof in this video that this stuff works. There are case studies in this video. So watch the entire video from start to finish and share this video with someone who will need this information. So we're gonna actually cover the three C's of loan approvals. So there's a formula for loan approvals. We'll cover that. And then you'll know how to qualify before you even apply, how to get money as a startup or to grow and expand, how to get financing regardless of your personal credit quality, how to get funding in 48 hours or less, and how to get the best rates in turn. Also, how to beat the banks and become fundable. So if you are not aware right now, at the time of doing this free training, we are going through inflation. We're going through pretty much a recession, even though they really haven't came out and really said anything. The banks have been tightening up their lending requirements. So a lot of people need alternative funding. They need other options to be able to keep their business running. So that is what we're going to be talking about in this video. So we believe all entrepreneurs should be able to obtain capital. You should know exactly how to get approved before applying. You should also know what lenders know about you. You should be able to access all funding options in one place. You should be able to get the money you need when you need it. And also you should be able to get the most money at the best term. So this training is for you if you are looking for money to grow your business, if you've been denied financing or think you will be, if you want the easiest and fastest way to get capital, if you have credit issues, or if you are a startup and you're trying to figure out how to actually get money, even if you just started your business and you don't really have any revenue. So this is going to be for you. Even if you are a startup and you have good credit, you can still get information from this video. Also, if you're paying too much interest now and need lower payment. So this webinar is not for you. If you want to get rich quick scheme, if you expect money to fall from the sky with no work or qualification. Also, if you're really not ready to start a business, this may not be for you as well. So we all know getting money for your business is hard. So per the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, more than half of businesses will, will fail in five years or less. 82% of businesses fail and that's due to lack of cash flow. And 90% of business owners agree that the availability of loans the problem. 51% of small business owners worry weekly about capital. So this may be obvious, but you have to have access to funding to grow your business. After 2008, Dodd-Frank required banks to tighten lending standards, and that is actually happening again here in 2023. As a result, alternative lending sources poured into the space with 25% higher approval rates than the big banks. 
So there's more funding available today for small businesses than ever before. So there are many types of financing that you may qualify for right now. So here are some examples. There's revenue lending financing where they actually look at your revenue and if you have great revenue coming in like 10K plus a month, 15K plus a month, even if you have bad personal credit, they will still be able to lend to you based upon of your revenue if you have good revenue coming in and it's consistent. Also, there are merchant cash advances. It's kind of similar to revenue lending, but merchant cash advances have higher fees as well as higher interest rates. And they're typically offered by your merchant provider. For example, Stripe does what they call Stripe Capital, but it's a merchant cash advance because they're they're like the merchant where you're able to take payments through them. And what they'll do is they'll look at your past transaction history with them and they'll give you a loan based up off of your past revenue and transaction history with them. And another one that is similar is also Square. They also do that as well. And I've received like over $12,000, $13,000 from Stripe Capital. But what's weird about them, they do fit fees instead of interest. There's also account receivable financing, purchase order financing, startup unsecured business financing, 401k financing, securities financing, commercial vehicle financing. That's where you can actually get vehicles under your business, where you could also even build up your business credit profile and be able to get vehicles under your business, even without using your personal credit. Once you have your business credit built up to a certain point, and we'll talk about that more later, but there also are commercial real estate financing options, equity investment, inventory financing, equipment financing, SBA loans, term loans, and business lines of credit, as well as micro loans. So you must access all legitimate business funding options in one place to get the most money at the best term. So here's how you can actually get approved. This is what you need to know before you even apply for anything. You need to know the three C formula to see if you actually will qualify. So this is one of the things that you must know. There are three C's when it comes to lending is cash flow, credit, and collateral. So either you must have good cash flow coming in and want to use that as a way to get financing because you may have bad personal credit or your credit may may be in the mid 600, but you have great cash flow. There are options out there for you. If you have a good personal credit, but you don't have any cash flow just yet, you can get funding with that. If you have collateral, you can also get funding with that. So do you have consistent cash flow? Do you manage your bank account responsibly? That's gonna be a factor as well because they're gonna check bank statements, they're gonna check tax return. If you do revenue-based lending, they're gonna look at if your revenue and profits are growing and if it is actually profitable and not in the negative. So here are some potential funding options. Revenue lending, like I mentioned before, that is the type of lending that you can get with cash flow merchant cash advances, and also SBA loans. And you have term loans and line credit. So if you have good personal credit, or if you have a guarantor with good personal credit, that could be leveraged as well to get you credit cards. They're gonna look at your revolving credit history on your personal credit profile. And also if you have a lot of inquiry, that can actually get you denied. So make sure that you don't have a lot of inquiries within the last six to 12 months. If you, you wanna actually see if you can get those moves. So with good personal personal credit, you can get startup, unsecured business financing, business lines of credit, SBA micro loan. So that's gonna be the SBA 7A loan where you can get up to $50,000 if you are a new business. Now on the collateral side, there's account receivable financing, purchase order financing. If you have account receivables that you can use as collateral, they will use that to back up the funding that they give you. And if you have purchase orders, they can use that as well. A 401k can also be used as collateral, securities financing, and also if you have inventory, that could also be used as collateral, or if you have quit. So you must have one of three C to get business funding. This is what a lot of people do not realize, but this is very important. You have to have at least one of C. If not, you can actually build your business credit profile as an alternative using the EIN only route while you're still working on getting cash flow or or fixing your personal credit. Also, there's grant, crowdfunding, angel investors, and venture capital. So the bigger the loan, the harder 
it is to qualify. So it's best to determine exactly what the money for and how much specific that you're looking to get. So for example, you may need $2,000 for computers, 5,000 for office supplies, 6,000 for furniture, 22,000 for a specific vehicle that you need, 3,000 for marketing, 18,000 for equipment, 6,000 for payroll. And that would be a total of 62,000. So you definitely wanna write down exactly what you need funding for, all the different supplies, all of the different needs such as paying contractors or payroll or office supplies or equipment or vehicle. And then you wanna make sure your business is fundable. So some fundability factors include type of entity that you have, the type of phone number that you use. If your phone number is listed in the certain directories that lenders actually check, like the 411 direct, the white pages or the yellow pages, and then the type of address that's for your business. Can't use any pack and ship address that you may find at places like iPostal, or any other place that sells cheap so-called virtual addresses that actually link to a staple storefront or a UPS packing center or shipping center, you have to make sure that it is a address that is going to link to a legitimate office building, or you can have your own office or your own storefront, but it's best to not use any of those addresses. Like I just said, any pack and ship staples addresses or your home address. It's best to use an office or actual real storefront address. Also the types of licenses you may have, the currency or congruency of your record. So you have to make sure that everything is matching everywhere. So you have to have the same phone number, the same address, the same business name, the way that your business name is spelled and showing on your Secretary of State documents, your EIN document, 411 listings, all of that has to match congruent even on your website. So, and also you wanna make sure you have a professional website and email address. Also make sure that you have a bank account, all of that set up. So. Believe it or not, if some of that stuff is like not matching, that could actually be one of the main reasons you are getting denied because they have to verify your business information. They also have to make sure that your business is a real business. So even if you are fundable, most loan applications get denied because of potential fraud concerns, not because you don't qualify. So the potential fraud concern can come from the mismatch of records and not being able to identify who the business owner is or identify that the business is actually a real business. So they fight fraud by matching your company and your application details against other data that they have from places like LexisNexis, Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, SBF, E, which is the Small Business Financial Exchange. This is actually where business loans are reported. So if you get a business loan and they actually report your payment history, most likely they're gonna be reporting to the Small Business Financial Exchange. Also Equifax, sometimes check system. So this is how we can actually help you get funding for your business. We can help you access all legitimate funding options one place. So all of the revenue lending that we talked about, the merchant cash advances, the account receivable financing, the purchase order finance, startup business funding, we can help you with that, as well as 401k finance, security finance, commercial vehicles, real estate financing, equipment investments, inventory finance, equipment finance, and SBA loans, as well as term loans and business line credit. We can help you with all types of business funding. We've helped a lot of people actually get business credit cards. They've been able to build their business credit, been able to get all types of credit from different stores, as well as banks. So our finance team can help you get financing. They'll help you determine funding that you qualify for right now. Find the best finance product and lending source and we actually will work with the lenders to help you get approved negotiate the rates and terms for you and use our discounts to help save on the fees and interest and we'll actually help you develop a finance blueprint to actually help you get the bigger loan through SBA so here's a case study from a doctor who needed four hundred and seventeen thousand dollars to pay off a tax lien and was in the process of actually closing his practice he also had credit issues and no collateral. Also, several banks had already denied him, but through multiple rounds of funding, our finance team was able to get him money to pay off that tax debt, and he was actually able to secure over $1.5 in funding through unsecured financing, revenue-based loan, and also a private investor term loan. 
So you can get funding if you have any of the three C. You can access money even if you don't have any of the three. You can do that by building up your business credit without using your EIN. That's a different route that you can take. That's the alternative route. If you still need funding, if you still need to be able to go out there and get computers, get vehicles, get equipment, you can also build your business credit up to a certain point where you can also get MasterCards that are store branded. They're store branded, but they're MasterCards still that you can anywhere. For example, Sam's Club has a MasterCard that I've seen people get $50,000 on. We started off, ours started off with 8,000 and that was the, the first approval. Also improve all aspects of your fundability to get approved. Never need to look for funding again. Funding in less than 72 hours. Even if you are in a high risk industry, even if you are a nonprofit, a startup, if you have credit issues, you can still get approved for some type of funding. So you can access all of these funding benefits in one place. There's going to be a link down below this video where you can actually get started with us. There's going to be more testimonials and proof on this page where you can actually see how we can help you get approved for business funding, help you build your business credit and get all different types of funding options. Even if you have bad personal credit, you still can get approved for funding. So the link is going to be down below in the description. And also at the time of recording this training, we're only able to let a couple of more people into the program. So if you click on that link and the program is closed and we've already got to capacity, go ahead and sign up for the waiting list. We are going to open it back up, but right now we should only have two spots left at the time of recording this training. So you want to definitely hurry up and get in before before we do close the door. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell icon and receive notifications on when we leave videos and I'll see you in the next video.